I want to give you another one of these examples of Fox News casually mentioning, oh, that story we covered for a week and told you that we verified independently. Turns out it was complete and total fake news. The latest is from Maria Bartiromo. This is the story Fox News ran with for a week last week about supposed homeless veterans being kicked out of hotels in order to make room for undocumented immigrants because of something Biden did. The story was totally made up. Maria Bartiromo waited an extra week before casually updating us that the story was completely made up. We want to update you on a report last week claiming that upstate hotels in Orange and Rockland counties, including the Crossroads Hotel, Crossroads right. Hotel, evicted a group of homeless veterans. We've since learned that veterans advocates misled local officials, and oh. it now turns out those eviction claims were false. We want to update you on the story, make sure the record was set straight, and we'll get more to you as we get it. Yeah, there you go. What she means is it's fake news. We reported fake news and angered people and fired people up based on a story that's completely imaginary. And remember that Fox News said they verified the story. It's not. Well, listen, someone reported this and we were misled. They claimed to have verified the story. And what it sounds like is going on is Fox News lawyers have said, you might want to make a, some kind of retraction about this. Uh, we did talk earlier this week of Laura Ingram um, also casually mentioning, by the way, that story was fake. All right. Before we go, a little update on a story we brought you this week about homeless little vets update. being displaced from hotels so that illegals could move in. Turns out the group behind the claim made it up. We have no clue as to why anyone would do such a thing. No. But we'll bring you any updates should they come. Why would any, as I said on Monday, why would anybody lie in order to try to support their pre existing political narratives that Biden is treating undocumented immigrants, quote, better than Americans and veterans? Why would why would anyone make that up? And this was one other retraction that was issued. Quick update on a story from earlier this week about homeless veterans being displaced from a hotel in Newburgh, New York, right. uh, to make room for migrants. We're now looking into new reports that a veterans advocate misled lawmakers about or and media outlets about a story that some homeless men may have uh, been hired to pose mm. as veterans. We We've don't know. reached out to the organization for a statement, but so far have not heard back. It's we'll all it so hazy. We just don't know what happened. So there is Maria Bartiromo shamelessly joining those who say, listen, I don't know. We were misled. Wait, you said you verified the story that they don't mention anymore. Completely and totally pathetic. We'll see if any more retractions are coming. We have such a great bonus show for you today that I hope that you're already a member. Oh, the bonus show where you want to make money. Yeah. Everybody else that makes money to fund themselves is bad. We will discuss on today's bonus show the new study that finds two billion people could be impacted by life threatening heat by the end of the century. We've talked about heat before, and I don't mean Trump talking about applying light and heat to cure. I'm talking about heat and uh, climate change and the issues that it will bring forward. This new study uh, is very specific about where these dangerous heat levels will be. Secondly, in Texas, they are allowing unlicensed religious chaplains to quote counsel students as if they were therapists, but they are not. This is the latest placating of the uh, uh, religious uh, I don't even what to call you know what to call them the, the sort of Christian Sharia type folks in Texas. We will discuss it. And U.S. colleges are now exploring what would admissions look like if they were no longer race conscious, which is we're talking about affirmative action here. This would be a major change in American college admissions. What would it mean? What would it do? What would the implications be? All of those stories and more on today's bonus show. Can't wait for you to join us by simply signing up at joinpacman.com.